Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a custom ROM for the Redmi Note 7 Pro, the OnePlus Oxygen OS 11 port based on the latest Nod and 100. Now, this ROM promises a clean OnePlus experience, but is it all smooth sailing? Let's find out. This ROM focuses on staying true to the stock experience. There are no fancy customizations added by the developer. It boasts lots of under-the-hood changes, which sounds intriguing, but we don't get specifics. One interesting point is that the firmware comes pre-built in and decrypted by default. This can be a plus for some users who prefer this approach. Booting up the phone, you're instantly greeted by the familiar OnePlus Oxygen OS 11 interface. It feels clean and responsive, just like a OnePlus phone. OnePlus staples like the app drawer and quick settings are all present and accounted for. This is where things get a little mysterious. The change log mentions lots of under-the-hood changes, but there's no clear information on what exactly has been tweaked. While the system feels smooth in everyday use, it scored 666 on single-core and 1674 on multi-core and benchmarks. These are decent scores, but without knowing what optimizations were made, it's hard to say for sure if the ROM offers any significant performance improvements over stock. An interesting aspect is the pre-passed CTS compatibility test suite. This means Google Play Store and other certified apps should work flawlessly, although a quirky to reboot and Play Store data clear process is mentioned for complete functionality. This OnePlus Oxygen OS 11 port offers a clean and familiar experience for Redmi Note 7 Pro users. The lack of customization might be a turnoff for some, but the pre-built firmware and decrypted system can be appealing. If you're a Redmi Note 7 Pro user craving a stock-like OnePlus experience and don't mind the lack of customization, this ROM could be worth a try. Thanks for joining this review. Remember, flashing custom ROMs involves risk. Do your research and ensure you have a full backup before proceeding. If you have any questions about this ROM or custom ROMs in general, leave a comment below.